it did become a pilgrim's paradise in 1970 he's injured or he's been injured and ill and in dispute midfield nicky barnby who scored in all the deal from a penalty but uh, those memories from 77 keep coming back don't they? danger for liverpool early on and uh, scrambled away rather oh, what a waste by cafu but uh, Westerveld had to go down to save the follow-up shot. Nakata, who's wearing gloves tonight, has really got his chance in the starting lineup uh, because of the absence of Totti. He's often a substitute, the uh, Japanese player for Roma. Here's Kafu. Candelar on the left-hand side again. This is the little back hill. Good defending, though, plenty of... McAllister, Zieger again, tries to go for a return, and Christian Zieger can he run inside the 18-yard area, and Tolioli out. Hasn't done himself justice, I don't think, at Liverpool yet, he, when he first got into the... Babel, Fowler makes the run behind the defender, Robbie Fowler for Liverpool! Oof. He was unlucky, just trying to toe ender there. Good ball, just got in between the defenders. Little one through the legs initially. Just stretches, tries to... Needs, again, heading clear. Oh. Stadium with Lazio is keeping a close eye on proceedings tonight. Oh, and it's a Roma head, I think, that sends that backwards. And it was going into a ruck of Roma players, but it was Del Vecchio top of his head, just stretching backwards. He had it covered. Enter Rinaldi wants to try and get the ball in if he can from here. Del Vecchio coming in! Well, that was the nearest we've been, I think. Rinaldi, terrific pace, and got to say, I think that Del Vecchio should have scored. Jumped superbly, timing well, did everything right. But... Samuel gets up at the far side. Del Vecchio's in there. Westervelt needs to claim this. But once it bounced, that gave the opportunity for Westervelt to come out. But to score there. But, um, other than that, Liverpool... Oh! The shot's maybe for Liverpool here with Michael Owen latching onto something. And Liverpool have scored themselves! Goodness me! Julio can hardly believe that! Owen comes across to the touchline to take the celebrations and the congratulations and Roma have presented Liverpool with a goal in their first attack of the second half. Look at those reports. You can see what he's trying to do. Look, he's trying to switch the play. Doesn't get any height. I mean, it's, it's knee height. Good first touch. Shapes the shoot, then comes on his favoured right. Tucks it in the cork, Owen. Well, Owen doesn't need to be asked twice, does he? He takes it well, but while you're watching that, Roma are on the attack. Whether he's saying, what, why did you put the ball in the back of the net after that error? What, but, uh, Michael Owen, look at that. He's that all the way back here to uh, Rinaldi. Oh. Through ball, looking for Del Delvecchio, and it had to be taken out by Hoopier. I think you were now is Mangoni. And Samuel jumping, and Vestervelt jumping. Two players collide and are both injured. Was the Liverpool player on the receiving end there? He went up with, uh, and in fact, Emerson had headed the ball, and then they clashed heads before it went on here to Vesterveld. Left wing. Yes, left wing is the ball. And it's been knocked inside for Barnby. And that could have been. And this is Asun Sao. That's good play, it's been stopped by Vestervelt. And fortunately the rebound went to a Liverpool club. Far side as well now. Oh, and the goalkeeper punching it out. And the return shot was from Harmon. Now it's Ziga. can he get the ball in early? Owens on the near post. Oh, it's a chance for number two, and it is number two! Michael Owen, Michael Owen on the near post has made this a personal triumph. Fulfilling as Ziga gets the ball in, the reputation that Sven Goran Eriksson was told about, and now he can see for himself. Poaching. But it all came from Antonio's punch, didn't it? If you remember, 
played a good one too, got the, the byline and Michael Owen just getting in. Del Vecchio, Batistuta! Oh. Good block, good challenge, Hupia. Well, Capella trying to find his fellow Brazilian Emerson. Batistuta in the penalty area, that's where it's going. Honcho tries to get there and a weak shot really left foot as it's nodded down as you say doesn't catch it and uh, put under pressure by Hoopier. Aikman really well Michael I mean it, the turning point was that opening goal. Oh the assistant referees let them play on it's Nick Barnby here for Liverpool can he make it three goalkeeper blocks oh. and this is Emerson blocked up a bit there Cafu with the corner that's safe enough for Liverpool Speak for English clubs in Europe, and what a night in Rome for Liverpool. They come to take on Roma on their own. Trevor Brooking. Well, it's good to see Heskey, I think. Uh, well, it'll have to be something special this evening. Uh, fantastic atmosphere. It's like Anfield used to be. And Liverpool fittingly attacked the top end in the first half. And look early on for Emil Heskey. Roma in their chain strip, all white. Three. The Argentine who scored the winning goal against Lecce pulls him back by the shorts. Do you mind? Not very subtle, it was in. Emileski not impressed. Driven in low by Gary McAllister. And then, oh, what a shot from distance. Jamie Carragher. Well, it just shows the confidence in the side, John. I mean, whereas you can see the halfway line there, that's got to be 40, 45 yards out, and certainly Antonioli had to watch it all the way. Here's Candelar, the left wing back for Roma. Bear in mind, if Roma were to win 2-0, there would be extra time. Yellow card, that was Montella for the challenge. And Montella... That's his first yellow card of the competition. Must have felt he used his arm or elbow. There it is, just backing in and just, yeah, went with his forearm. Wasn't much of a challenge with his head. Okay. Driven in low for Del Vecchio. This is Nakata again. Montella offside. Won't count, won't count. Well, that's good build-up play. They just probed away quietly, looking for the old card. Sort of checked and went by the time then he did knock it. Comfortably, Roma stroking it around. Can they? Oh, nice dummy! And here's Del Vecchio. Well, he should have done a lot better. Well, it's a shocker of a miss. You cannot miss those sort of chances, and not to get it even on target is dreadful. Ansel Sound knocks the ball in. Nakata wrong foots the whole of the back four. Is what I be needed. Oh, did Hooker get a touch? Doesn't matter. Antonioli saved it. And it's come back to McAllister. Oh, and this battle. Oh, that was anybody. Ziga, Barmby. This is the free kick. Does clear everyone. And Antonioli nearly got it wrong. And actually, in the end, did well to dig it out. <laughs> right. Here's Heskey. I think Heskey's having a right old ding dong in there with the defenders whenever they. Oh, it's Michael Owen. And he drags his shot wide. Rather like Del is offside, but the other side slow coming out with Safina. He played everyone on. He's definitely not offside. I think that's why he hesitated. You know, would be the left footer who might decide to curl it. Montella, good save. Right, but there's not not much power there. Vesterveld's got plenty of time to go across the next score in the second leg at Anfield of this UEFA Cup tie is on the. Heskey coming in behind the goalkeeper. Just too high, was going to always clear everyone and made it a comfortable catch. Oh, look at this, there's four of them breaking out here. Good defending by Nicky Barndy. This is Candelar. We're about to see Batistuta. This is Montella. Candelar! He tries to make the wing-back system work. Hit the shot. Heskey. Push penalty. That's the breakthrough. 
Emil Heskey do it back in all the time. He got his arm round his shoulder, and I think Emil Heskey's rolled round then to, to emphasize that there was contact. And certainly the referee pointed to it straight away. Look where he is, though. He's, what, 20 yards away, so he's got pretty good eyesight. It's going to be Michael Owen, Liverpool's third different penalty taker in a matter of days. Oh, saved by Antonioni! If the keeper goes the right way, it's, it's a fairly soft one. He was gambling. Bago. Oh, and Vesterveld at full stretch there from Zago's shot. Schmitz are on, they've taken the corner. Batistut is told, no, you can't. Heskey getting inside his marker. Heskey! Oh, surely! Such power and strength he's got. He just kept Sabina off, and then it was a dreaded shinner, wasn't it? Montella, the furthest forward in this attack. Quigu! Oh, it's there! Quigu! Could Quigu hit this with his left foot? It went round Stefanoncio, and Vesterveld, going to his right, was comprehensively beaten. Well, it's a great strike. There you are know, so many Liverpool players there, no one made the challenge. He hit it with the outside of his left foot. It's always going away from Vesterveld. I don't think you can blame the keep. Aston Sal takes. It was a pretty poor delivery, but look at this. Vesterveld's got to come and get it. And there's more pushing and shoving in the penalty area. And it's almost mayhem out there now. I think the referee needs to blow the whistle soon. Oh, this Robbie Fowler's involved in some pushing on the far side with two of the Roma players, and it's all chaos now out there. We're over the 94 minutes. I see no reason for the referee to play on. Best of luck with the ball. Surely the game is over. Liverpool ahead on aggregate by two goals to one. Crowd singing, and it is over. And they dispute, was it a penalty? Well, it wasn't because it became a corner at the other end. And Liverpool in the end, he knows that. We're hanging on, but hanging on to a 2-1 aggregate lead, courtesy of the two goals they scored in Rome last week. On the night, on the night, it's Liverpool nil, Roma one. But on aggregate, which is what matters, it's...